I've done these one at a time. So kept them in order, starting with the black one here. Negative, working way across, positive on this side. Now for the moment of truth, see if Spectrum does not have these crossed up. Okay. So there's my total LiPo battery per cell. Okay, 75%. This is a Spectrum 100C discharge 5,000 milliamp hour battery, that third battery that has went south on me. Notice the colors don't match up, but I kept the order that they were in the tiny Spectrum plug, which plugs into their little internal computer board. So all the wires are in the correct order on the JST plug. And there is my converted um, Spectrum smart battery. Now has a JST balance lead. No longer a smart battery, just a 6S LiPo. So I've been running these in my boat and the problem comes in when water gets in them. So I got another one opened up here that I'm getting ready to do the same thing to. So slit the uh, Heat shrink back far enough to you can peel this tape off. But here's where the problem is. On this end where the board is, they have this, it's like a felt paper. That gets wet and just holds moisture. And that board is on the end here. And here's your balance leads with this smaller plug. And that plugs into this board. So this was all corroded, had green corrosion. I tried a um, soft brass wire brush on it and I couldn't get it to work. So I eliminated it, but it's just in this, it's like a heat shrink plastic bag, but the end is open where the wires come out. So it's gonna get wet. It's going to corrode, it's going to fail, run them in your boat. So I put this JST lead on, I cut leads off when I throw away old batteries, save them, so got a use for it. Now I can get some more life out of this smart battery. Requires a Spectrum smart charger, not true anymore. No longer 
an expensive smart battery. It's now a Spectrum battery LiPo with a JST balance lead. Kind of a shame to spend that kind of money and have them, what I thought was fail prematurely. It was showing up when I'd either put the tester, the Spectrum tester on it, or hook it up to the charger. Be a cell or two, be 0.06 volts. One was 1.94. So due to all that corrosion on the board, something wasn't reading right in the cells. And therefore, the, the um, charger couldn't charge it. So now that I have this on here, I know that this battery is still good. It's not failed, the LiPo part of it, the cells haven't failed, just their spectrum technology has failed. Like I say, for that kind of money, I think these batteries should hold up better. There's nothing I've seen written or heard anybody say you can't run them in boats. I've been running them in my uh, JE33FE. Um, don't have very many cycles on them, maybe 20 to 30. I mark them with the year I bought them, and yeah, that's that should not have failed that early. But I'll get some more life out of them just as a standard LiPo, use my regular LiPo charger. And one thing I'd like to be clear on, this is not an anti-Spectrum smart technology video. I have a Spectrum charger. I had three of their batteries, and inside of a year, they've all failed. One I wasn't even using in boats. It was a 3S LiPo for my low-C monster truck. Moisture got to it, but same thing. It appeared cells failed, and I disposed of that battery. Then I had one go, then the other of these ones I'm running in my boat, and I cut it open to see what was going on. I found all that green corrosion and moisture, so I had a pretty good notion that the cells hadn't failed. So if you're in the same situation, you have a lot of money invested in expensive Spectrum smart technology LiPos. These are all G2s. I had three G2 LiPos. So I spent good money. And that is a premature fail. So this is not a video knocking the smart technology. This is how can you recoup something out of this. Spectrum, if you're listening, three. I've lost three of these batteries. Now I'm going to get to run both of these either using the standard mode on your charger or on my other charger. But if you're in the same boat, if you have just a random cell or a couple cells show up is really low and your batteries are fairly new as these were, like I said, Bought these in 2021 and they failed. Um, this is a way to recoup your money, get some use out of your Spectrum Smart Technology LiPos that, in my opinion, failed prematurely. Spectrum doesn't like this. If they want to talk about warnings of cutting open LiPos, you cut it open, unplug the board, and then do like I did with the wiring, one wire at a time, it's pretty safe, in my opinion. But not one bit happy how fast these fail. So now what do I do? There's, in my opinion, lots of batteries as good or better out there. And I have a regular charger, and the Spectrum can also charge them, the Spectrum charger. But do I buy more of these batteries? Good question, right? 